Hey, so I just wanted to take a minute to walk through some of the specs of the La Playa line um, from our more vintage style up to the more modern style. Uh, really, most of what you'll find, uh, like this would represent our vintage or vintage side of things. Uh, there are some things about this guitar that obviously make it uh, more modern just because we've added contours and done some interesting things that way. But the overall aesthetic of the guitar is much more in line with what you would think of a traditional single cut. Uh, really nicely flamed maple top. Um, we've done this one, as you can see, in a dirty lemon burst, which is just beautiful. Mahogany back and neck, which is very traditional, as you would expect. Um, and as I was talking about, we have the contours for the belly, the leg contour, uh, the nicely sculpted heel for easy access to the upper frets, which of course is always a nice touch. All of these guitars are chambered, so the weight is great. They come in um, typically a little under eight pounds, which for a single cut style guitar is great. So if you're playing this guitar live, you're gonna find that it's a lot easier and more comfortable to play for prolonged periods. Um, this neck is what we would call our 50s carve. Uh, this one measures 0 0.860 at the first fret to 0 0.980 at the 12th fret. So this is a really nice, comfortable, beefy 50s style neck profile, which is my favorite. Um, and uh, I think it's just incredibly comfortable and, and uh, great to play. But for those people who prefer a thinner neck, we also offer um, some additional contours. So this guitar would represent sort of the middle of the line, sort of a, a mix between uh, the traditional vintage styling. This one has a really nice top on it, as you can see. It still keeps in, in uh, line with the contours and everything, which we already talked about. But this one we've done something really unique with, uh, and I haven't seen many people doing this. I, as a matter of fact, I don't think I've seen anyone doing this out there right now. And, and we've done a roasted 5A flame maple neck on this one, which is a really beautiful touch. Um, as you can see, this, this 5A flame is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and we've also done the matching 5A flame um, roasted blocks in the ebony fretboard, which is also just a beautiful touch. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the inlay here and also the logo are also done in 5A flame uh, roasted maple. Um, so really beautiful guitar. And this one sort of brings together some uh, more modern ideas with a more traditional touch. So I would think this would represent sort of our middle of the line between vintage and modern. And um, this is just a beautiful example of that. All right, so on the other end of things, this would be what I would consider to be our more modern side of the La Playa line. As you can see, this one's all blacked out. Um, it's got a black metallic finish. Um, this one has the uh, 60s profile neck, which measures 0 0.800 at the first fret up to 0 0.900 at the 12th, so it's much thinner than the 59 profile or the 50s profile. Um, which a lot of guys prefer, you know, if, if, if you're used to playing thinner necks, this one's going to feel right at home for you. Again, same contours, same sculpted neck heel. Um, this one we've done locking tuners on, um, and this just kind of represents, these pickups are a bit higher output and more aggressive. I think the styling of this guitar overall is just a bit more aggressive, and for those uh, players who are more into that style of guitar. I think this is a, um, a great way to get into the La Playa line and have some of that really cool single cut styling uh, with a guitar that represents more aggressive style music.